Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to show elapsed time in Excel. So here in front of me, I've got a sample of what an employee's shift schedule might look like over the course of a week, where you've got the time they clocked in, time they clocked out, and how long their break was. So to calculate the difference between all those values, we can just take the time they clocked out minus the time they clocked in minus the break. And Excel returns a value of 0.4. So you might be a bit confused by this until you realize that by default, these calculations are showing fractions of a day. So if I copy all this down, you know, it's going to tell me that this person worked 1.67 days, 1.67 full 24 hour days. Probably not what you want to see. So I'm going to create another field to show you how we can convert this into hours. So because we know this is per day, per 24 hour chunk, what you need to do is multiply this by 24 to convert this into hours. So now it tells us nine and a half hours. Let's copy this down and I'll copy the formatting over as well. And so we can see now it adds up to 40 hours. That makes a bit more sense. But the problem still here is if you want to see it show hours and minutes, it it doesn't do that. It went from showing fractions of a day to fractions of an hour, since there aren't 75 minutes in an hour. So if you're looking for hours or minutes, this still still falls short of what you're looking for. What you could do, um, you don't have to necessarily change the calculations, you can just change the formatting. So if I select these cells and hit Control-1, it gets me to format cells. And if I go under Custom, you know, you could use a, a, a timestamp, something that looks like this, right? If I go to custom, now you'll see what that timestamp looks like. So we've got hours and minutes. So let's do something like that. So I'm going to delete this out and type in H M M hit. Okay. Now this looks a bit more appropriate. Nine hours, and 30 minutes, seven hours, and 30 minutes. So we don't have any crazy 75s and that sort of stuff. So anything beyond the, the norm, but the one problem though, is when we go to sum this up, it, it, is that adds up to 16. And so what Excel looks like it's doing here is because we've got 40 hours, it's subtracting the 24 hours and giving us 16 hours left, presumably because we've jumped into another day. So that's still might, you know, might be a bit confusing. So I'm gonna show you yet another method. Go back into formatting options. And for elapsed time, we actually put the H in square brackets. And now if we do this, now I've got the correct 40 hours showing up. So that's how we can make sure that it's showing in the proper format. And by doing this, we don't have to do any calculations. We don't have to multiply by any sort of uh, multiples of 24 or 60. So if you just want the, to, it to display correctly, that's how you can do that. One other thing I'm going to show you is how this can work if you're looking at the difference between two days. Right, so let's say we create a couple of fields. So date one, date two. So let's say we've got, you know, January 1, 2023. And let's compare that to December 25th, 2023. Right, so if we, if we had our date difference, we can just take, okay, this minus this. That tells me 358 days. But what if we wanted to show that in terms of hours or minutes or seconds? Go back to control one, and we can use H again to show eight eight thousand five hundred ninety-two hours. Same thing for minutes. We put the M in there. That's how many minutes. If we want to do seconds, then we'll put S. Right. So obviously, a very large, very large number. Oops. And so. Let's say we wanted to show this in terms of hours and, and minutes. We don't have the time in here, but let's say, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning versus 12 o'clock or 12 noon. All right, so we've got that. So you can see these calculations update a little bit here. And so if I want to show hours and minutes, again, that H first, that minute after. And so we've got, I've got the hours. I forgot to add the minutes actually. So let's, change this to 12.30 p.m. And now we've got that, that 30. So that's how you can show elapsed time in terms of minutes and, and seconds. And obviously if we had seconds in here, we can add that calculation 
as as well minutes and seconds so we've got that level of detail depending on what you've got in here so if you want to sh do a do a countdown or show you something to show you the the difference in terms of hours or minutes just for the sake of doing some stats or whatever the case may be that's how you can do that so if you're looking at elapsed time the key to remember is the square brackets around either the h the m or, or the s to show you exactly what you want because as you saw simply just using hours and minutes may not give you um the format that you want just because excel might think you've jumped into another day and it'll show a different hours uh, number than what you're expecting so for these formats the key thing to remember is use the square brackets and then excel knows you you're looking at lapse time so that's how you can calc calculate and show that in excel thank you very much for watching